Oh my God, finally. Finally, I get to get outside, outdoors. Look, no buildings. No buildings, no people, no nothing. Just trees and bushes and bugs and snakes and and just wildlife. How long have we lived here? <laughs> too long. Too long. Too long because like we should have come out here like way sooner. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of funny, I'm walking through this place and I know nothing of a lot of this stuff. There's this part of me that's still stuck in the naked and afraid thing. <laughs> And I'm just like looking around for different ways to survive. Reflecting back on that show, I have to say like the editing of the show, it just doesn't show how it like, how crazy it was for me. Like, it, I mean, it shows it was like hard and, and cold and man, all the other stuff that I did that they never showed, it was just like crazy. Like the different ways I collected water and <sighs> it was such an adventure. It was, I'm not going back. By the way, I've, I've decided I'm not doing Naked and Afraid again. If I'm gonna do something like that, I'm doing that on my own time and not naked. I'm going with clothes because <laughs> I, that, that was just ridiculous. I think one of these days when Shell gets older, well, actually when our kids get older, I wanna have a primitive family adventure. Like we have we have a phone, we have a way to get out, you know? Yeah. But I would love to just go out and, and just live a week in the wilderness. That'd be fun. That would be amazing. Another thing I was telling Kristen as we were coming out here, I was like, there's this part in my mind that tells me that I better be watching out because there might be some bears or moose. <laughs> so my mind is so trained to look for bears and moose. Like the next time we go to Alaska, I'm not gonna be ready because I'm gonna be used to this. There's nothing out here other than, other than snakes. Food, snakes are food. I do wish I could have found a snake out there in Belize when I was doing Naked and Afraid because man, I was hungry. All right, enough talk about Naked and Afraid. I've done that, been there, and it was insane. What do you think of all this, Chell? She is in love, huh? And then we fell behind because we found something interesting. And put it in our mouth. Spit it out, spit it out. Bah. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> I really do want to come out here like at night though and see everything at night, hear the, hear the wildlife. Well, it's not, it's, I wouldn't say there's wildlife, but like, <laughs> When I think wildlife, I think like large wildlife. What I mean is I'd like to hear the birds and I'd like to see the, the armadillos. You know, I've never actually seen an armadillo outside of a car alive. Oh, really? Yeah. They're They've always... cool looking. Yeah. I want... The owls sound so cool here too. <sighs> Except in the morning, you have to wake up really early. I love owls. Where I grew up, we had uh, owls in the barn in one of the houses we lived in. and. It was really cool because every morning and every night they'd always go through, they were like screeching owls. Below where they were, they had the owl pellets because they always went Bleh! you know, because they don't, I think they just like vomit up all the bones and stuff. And I was always curious. So I'd take those owl pellets and I'd dissect them and see what they ate. And it was always so neat. Stop eating goofy stuff. Look, <laughs> they're just acorns, honey. We don't eat those. Technically you can eat them, but like there's this whole process of like, the, it's a process. This morning I woke up still feeling quite sick, but I told myself before I got out of bed, I'm done being sick. Like I'm tired of just laying on the couch and not being able to do anything. So while I do feel like I'm gonna throw up at any minute, I'm just ignoring it. There's too much cool stuff to do and see to just lay around all the time. Oh my gosh, Chell, it's raining like crazy. It's like this weird on and off rain. We're gonna see if we can find a rainbow. Rain. Oh it's, oh, it's warm. warm. Oh nice. Alright, we're gonna look for what's called a rainbow. And now it's stopped. Oh a leaf. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step away from dadding for a second. I wanna show you guys what we have going on in the backyard. We have decided that it's time for the cats to not poop in the house anymore. Not like not like all over the place, but like no more litter boxes. We don't wanna deal with litter boxes anymore. They're great, I mean, it's been great, but that just like ties up a bathroom, you know? And, and we want the cats to be able to go outside really for the first time on their own whenever they want to just hang out or poop. So here's the project that I am thinking about taking on. I want to take this whole back area here. This is kind of Penny's area where she goes to the bathroom. Uh, we want to take this fence away here and put like a, oh, I don't remember what they're called, a, um, 
well some sort of structure that just goes straight out and then down so we can like block them in I, I can't, my terminology is terrible it's an enclosure an enclosure for the animals we already have a doggy door um, on this door over here the cats have never used a doggy door but I'm sure they'll be able to learn that pretty quickly but yeah turning this whole place into a, a an area for the animals to get out and do their things you know would be nice I'm kind of thinking I can turn that spot over there into like a like a sand area for like a cat box and then or maybe maybe have like a I don't know, so yeah I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out exactly how I'm gonna do this the only issue we're running into is this this is the um, the window to the master bathroom and it's a lot lower than the uh, the eaves up there so <laughs> we're just trying to figure out okay how are we gonna make a structure that sort of comes out like that but doesn't block that window yeah this has been something we've been thinking about doing for a while, but we just haven't had time. But now that the Big Mean Kitty song's out and, and we've got a lot of uh, other things done and, and we're sort of settled into the house now, I think it's time we can start adding on some fun stuff. Oh my God, you dirty dog. Where did you find <laughs> mud? I don't know. I'm so glad we had this because that's where she's gone until yeah. she dries off. She's like the world's happiest dog, right? Look at her, dude. Harsh. <laughs> Oh, she's nasty. <laughs> nasty <laughs> she's dog. So happy. Penny! Penny, where'd you go? Oh, really? You think we're going to let you in that way, huh? <laughs> I don't know about this. I think you got to go around, dirty dog. Not that I'm any better. <laughs> Penny, you're a mess. Oh, Chell, you're a mess. You're pretty clean. Yeah. No, for real, dog. Like, we need to wash you or something, because that's, that's unacceptable. Okay, I washed my feet. Chell's getting in a bath. I'm gonna show you guys the cat bathroom situation and see what you guys think of all this. So this is where we have the cat bathrooms. It's back in this area over here and I just cleaned it up so it should be dry. Sweet. I always like to uh, mop and do full cleanings like as you should. But yeah, so I have this cat mat and it catches all the kitty litter that gets stuck in their paws and stuff like that. And then, and of course, I've got the cat box in the tub soaking because I just like to have it disinfected. But this whole thing's a chore. And then the kitty litter we use is this stuff. And we are on our last bag. It's our pretty litter. I actually did a sponsored video about that stuff. But yeah, so it's just like this whole process of having to do this. And it's like, it's in front of this toilet and in front of the shower. So like anytime we have guests over and they stay in this guest bedroom, it, they have to deal with that. And that's just not right. Oh, so yeah, this is gonna be the last time I do this and then we are gonna have something outside for the animals. I'd like to call it a catio, but I think it's for all the animals, so it's like an animal leo. <laughs> what would you call it? Actually, I got it. A petio. It would be a petio. That's perfect. No more litter. This is it. And then we're done. Finished. Penny's barking. You ain't dry yet. I see it. I can see the wetness in your fur and it's going to get everywhere because you're going to come in here, you're going to shake, you're going to... You're going to get a bath. So here's the other room we thought about putting our um, cat boxes in, but we use this room all the time. Excuse the mess. This is all the uh, packaging for the books. Come on. You're going to get a bath. Oh, God. Yo. All right. You're good. Ready? Escape, escape! <laughs> now you're happy. Oh, that's right, because you think you're gonna get a treat. Oh, that's what it is? You think you're gonna get a, a treat? A treat? <laughs> okay. Wow, look at these clouds. So beautiful. Okay, so we are here to look at trusses. I am not a carpenter, and to be honest, I haven't built too much. And I kind of don't know what I'm looking for. This is gonna be an adventure. Okay, these look right. I need something to support. These are the posts to hold everything up, and I think those are thick enough. Something else I've really got to think about is the material that we're using, because uh, Kristen and I, we talked about this, and we're like, let's be honest with ourselves. Like, we're making these for our pets, and after our pets go, um, it, we're not gonna use this anymore. We're probably just gonna tear it down. And here's the other thing we need. We need the, uh, the parts that come across the top. I don't know what you'd call those, but two by eight seems about right. 10 feet, 10 feet sticking out, maybe. No, that does seem about right because I want it to stick out about 10 feet past the eaves that exist now. Then again, eight inches, like wide, that's, that's really wide. Six inches, this is what, here's what we're gonna do. Six inches, 10 feet long, that sounds better. 
Okay, so that's a few bucks cheaper. That's that's more doable because I think we need 16 or 18 of these. So that times, let's say 18 to overestimate, plus we need a whole bunch of the supports. Oh, and I need something to actually support those as they stick out from the building. So something to go long ways that they can sit on. Okay, I just need to focus and do some math. Okay, I did some basic math, looked around at different things, and I think it's probably gonna cost us about $500 to make the whole thing, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's <laughs> hopefully it's gonna be made well. Um, we're gonna do our best, but that $500 is gonna save us on years of cat litter, on smells in the house. Oh yeah, super worth it. Whoa, seems we've got a little bit of lightning. Give me more, give me more, I want more. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I survived day one without caffeine, so, so far so good, one day clean. Ah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. See you in the next one. Goodbye! You know what to do, click one of those. Hmm.